you might have seen this device on my channel this one is samsung galaxy j7 2016 edition so i did review this device few days ago and i did say that i will try custom rom on this device so officially this device can run on android 8.1 but now i have flashed a new custom rom on this device so it is running on android 10 right now so as you can see here if i go to software information so as you can see here it is running on android 10 and the custom rom we are using here is actually based on one ui so one ui 2.0 and this rom is ported from samsung's at 02 device so as you can see here and the model number is also changed because it is a ported rom so as you can see here the rom is working perfectly fine although i will not show you how you can install the rom on your device but i will put a link where you can find a step-by-step -step guide with the files you need to flash a custom rom on your device in terms of application we are not getting a lot of application here it is not coming with junk of one ui most of the application are just needed application here so we do have files play store galaxy store and the galaxy store is optional if you want you can install it or if you don't want you can skip it so it is up to you if you want it you can keep it phone messaging camera gallery clock context setting and calculator another application you are seeing here all this application i installed to try out the rom so first of all as you can see here it is purely based on one ui so you are getting all one ui notification panel galleries and all the stores and one thing is pretty surprising that the device is running really really well on this rom and it is much better than the stock 8.1 rom which is based on samsung's old tajwich ui or experience ui whatever so first of all let's try the camera so as you can see the camera is working perfectly fine and the ui is changed to one ui ui so as you can see here we can swipe between the tabs we can take pictures no issue and everything works and also we can take hdr photos if you go to more section we can take pro photos although we are not getting control over shutter speed and focus but still we do have like iosop and white balance option we have live focus which was not available on official rom but we do have here so those things are here and the device still can shoot up to 1080p 30 fps and no 4k support here but we have rich tone and other things and also grid lines these are the things which are a bible and the camera is working perfectly fine no issue although it is a custom rom but perfectly usable and in terms of play store so play store is working perfectly fine and it is much better and smoother than the stock ui so as you can see pretty smooth i did try a few games here and the gaming experience is also much better than the stock ui as a custom rom you might find few issues here and there but the experience you are getting here is really really much better than the stock ui as this rom is based on android 10 we are getting full screen gesture support as you can see here we, we have all the gestures and we can use them and also the soft buttons also working perfectly fine so those are also available i really prefer full screen gesture because the device i have here is mostly uses full screen gesture so it's really handy for me and the gestures work perfectly fine as you can see really smooth too no issue in terms of browser this rom did not come with any kind of browser i use play store and download via a browser which is working perfectly fine no issue you can use like if i search facebook as you can see here facebook is working so everything is working perfectly fine and in terms of network in my users i haven't faced any kind of issue with the network so wi-fi bluetooth and uh, mobile data is working perfectly fine you might find issue with bo lte support because it is really difficult to port bo lte support in samsung devices but as this rom is based on samsung's own ui so you might find that bo lte is working so there are one ui features like we are getting dark mode here and dark mode looks really good on this device because this device also got an amulet panel so it looks good on dark mode and if you have a burned display dark mode is pretty handy for that too so it, dark mode is working so in terms of like biometric and security we don't really have any kind of physical fingerprint on this device and the official rom does not really have any kind of face unlocking feature but this rom does have a face unlocking feature so you can use face to unlock your device so i did unroll my face here and if i show you that so it is pretty fast actually so as you can see here it is fast and it is working perfectly fine 
as far as this device goes that's pretty fast for this device and it works very well actually so in terms of features there are a lot of things going on if you go to device care you are seeing all those things here pretty much similar to one ui device care and all those things and the battery backup is also pretty good on this device i have been using this from two three days now and i did not really charge the device as you can see here it is still there and if you want to use theme you can use theme but you have to install the galaxy store when you are installing the custom rom so you can use theme here as you can see and i did install a theme here actually let me see my stuff a dark theme so as you can see i did download this one and it is working so as you can see here it is successfully applied so the theme store is also working no issue as you can see here it looks good one thing which is not working here is good lock i did try actually good lock but i could not able to find that maybe i have to side load that then it will work but as for here as you can see i can't really find that there are some application related to good lock as you can see nice catch and other things but good lock application is not available rather than that the rom is really really usable it is much better than the stock ui and gaming performance is much better than the stock ui too so if you want to install this rom i will provide a link you can download all the required files and also you can follow the step-by-step -step guide so that's all about android 10 based rom for samsung galaxy j7 2016 edition thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one